The storage of flammable and combustible liquids can present a serious risk to human life unless it is done safely. For that reason, Australian Standards AS 1940-2004 imposes strict requirements and recommendations for the safe storage and handling of flammable and combustible liquids. There are two types of dangerous goods stores available, purpose-built stores and standard freight containers which have been modified for use as a dangerous goods store. Make sure you know what you're getting for your money. The Australian Standard states, Except for the purposes of loading and unloading, freight containers shall not be used for the storage of flammable and combustible liquids in packages unless they have been modified to comply with the requirements of Section 3, which includes general design and construction requirements, and Section 4, package, storage and handling areas. Why buy a purpose-built store instead of a modified freight container? Well, even if you purchase a freight container which has been modified so it complies with sections 3 and 4 of the standard, you will have to meet the following additional requirements. Before the modified freight container is first used as a store, the floorboards must be inspected for any significant contamination from previous spills or leaks. Note, contaminated floorboards could react dangerously with any further spills or leaks or evolve harmful vapours in a fire. Purpose-built stores are ready to use and don't require inspection before use. There must be a passage of at least 800 millimetres wide inside the modified freight container. Such a passage must be clearly marked, for example by yellow lines painted on the floor. This is not necessary with purpose-built stores. No point within the modified freight container can be more than 6 metres from the modified freight container's exit door. This requirement does not apply to purpose-built stores. Each door of the modified freight container must be able to be opened from the inside and any external lock must be deactivated. Again, this requirement does not apply to purpose-built stores. Modified freight containers that do not comply with these strict requirements may be unsafe to store dangerous goods. There are other good reasons to prefer purpose-built stores to modified freight containers. Even modified freight containers that do comply with the standard typically have practical disadvantages, such as a lower ceiling height, which may leave very little headroom for anybody working and may give an awkward carrying position, a potentially dangerous step up to the storage area as a result of the high bunded floor, less storage for 205 litre drums and less ventilation. Purpose-built dangerous goods stores do not have any of these problems. They have generous headroom, allowing anybody working in them to stand and move at full height. There's no awkward step up to the bunded floor because the floor is incorporated during manufacture rather than being added later. More storage for 205 litre drums and excellent ventilation which is designed with the storage of dangerous goods in mind. If you are still considering purchasing a modified freight container for use as a dangerous goods store, make sure it complies with Australian standards and oh and regulations. Have the freight container inspected by an accredited AIDGC consultant for compliance. But if you wish to choose the best and safest way to store your dangerous goods, purchase a purpose-built store. And when it comes to dangerous goods stores, StoreSafe has a full range designed and built in full compliance with Australian Standard AS 1940-2004 and made from Australian Blue Scope Steel.